Hi, I'm Cal Lane, Associate Rector of St. George's Episcopal Church here in Dayton, Ohio, and every week we're very happy to provide a midweek service of prayer. Tonight I'm very happy to come to you with evening prayer for this third week of Easter season. We'll be using evening prayer rite 2, which begins on page 117 of the Book of Common Prayer. I invite you, if you've got a copy at home, to join along with me, or you're welcome to visit bcponline.org. bcponline.org. Again, we're going to begin on page 117. Before we have evening prayer, I invite you as a way of beginning prayer, a way of entering into prayer, is to first call to mind your need for grace, for sins known and unknown, uh, for places where you need the refreshment of the living God, and then rest assured that he is near at hand with mercy and grace, particularly in this Easter season. So let's pause for a moment and acknowledge our need for grace together. We begin the uh, service of evening prayer with the Easter acclamation. Alleluia! Christ is risen! The Lord is risen indeed! Alleluia! On page 117, O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. I invite you to join with me in the O Gracious Light, the Fos Haleron, on page 118. Let's say together the O Gracious Light on page 118. O Gracious Light, pure brightness of the ever-living Father in heaven, O Jesus Christ, holy and blessed, now as we come to the setting of the sun, and our eyes behold the vesper light, we sing your praises, O God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, you are worthy at all times to be praised by happy voices, O Son of God, O Giver of life, and to be glorified through all the worlds. Tonight, uh, our psalm is simply a short portion of Psalm 119, a short portion on page 766 of the prayer book. This portion of Psalm 119 on page 766, page 766, we'll simply read together verses 33 to 40. Verses 33 to 40 on page 766. Let's read together starting at verse 33. Teach me, O Lord, the way of your statutes, and I shall keep it to the end. Give me understanding, and I shall keep your law. I shall keep it with all my heart. Make me go in the path of your commandments, for that is my desire. Incline my heart to your decrees, and not to unjust gain. Turn my eyes from watching what is worthless. Give me life in your ways. Fulfill your promise to your servant which you make to those who fear you. Turn away the reproach which I dread, because your judgments are good. Behold, I long for your commandments. In your righteousness preserve my life. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our lesson this evening comes to us from the third chapter of Matthew's Gospel, beginning at the 13th verse, Matthew 3, 13 to 17. Jesus came from Galilee to the Jordan to John to be baptized by John. John would have prevented Jesus saying, I need to be baptized by you, and do you come to me? But Jesus answered John, Let it be so now, for thus it is fitting for us 
to fulfill all righteousness. Then John consented. And when Jesus was baptized, immediately he went up from the water, and behold, the heavens were opened to Jesus, and he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove and coming to rest on him. And behold, a voice from heaven said, This is my beloved Son, with whom I am well pleased. Here ends the lesson. Let's respond uh, to this lesson with the canticle on page 120. The canticle on page 120, the Song of Simeon, the Nunc Dimittis. Let's say together the Song of Simeon together. Lord, you now have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let's affirm our faith now using the words of the Apostles' Creed there on page 120. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you and with thy spirit. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Let's use Suffrages A on page 121 to continue with our prayers. Page 121, Suffrages A. Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care, and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God and sustain us with your Holy Spirit. The Collect for this week. O God, whose blessed Son did manifest himself to his disciples in the breaking of bread, open, we pray, the eyes of our faith, that we may behold him in all his redeeming work, through the same your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Lord Jesus, stay with us, for evening is at hand and the day is past. Be our companion in the way, kindle our hearts and awaken hope, that we may know you as you are revealed in Scripture in the breaking of bread. Grant this for the sake of your love. Amen. I invite you to join me in saying together the collect at the bottom of page 124. Let's say this collect together at the bottom of page 124. Keep watch, dear Lord, with those who work or watch or weep this night. And give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, Lord Christ. Give rest to the weary. Bless the dying. Soothe the suffering. Pity the afflicted. Shield the joyous. And all for your love's sake. Amen. I invite you now, friends, to name before God your petitions, thanksgivings, other concerns you might have. I especially invite you to pray for, pray for our parish church, for, for St. George's, for uh, the vestry of our parish, for our, our clergy and other leaders, and for all members of this parish. 
I also encourage you to pray for those who are in leadership, um, and especially those in medicine, likewise, those on the front lines, um, and those suffering, especially from this pandemic, the dying and the dead. Let's go to God in prayer, either silently or aloud now. The office concludes on page 126, there towards the, the middle of the page. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Ghost be with us all evermore. Amen. Friends, I hope you'll check back regularly to this YouTube channel. Uh, our rector puts out a weekly update uh, every Sunday. Likewise, there are Bible studies as well as Sunday devotions. Uh, and please know that we're praying for you um, in these very unique and challenging days. Easter peace, Easter blessings to you and to your household.